Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Newegg.com, where you can get this board for $279 and you can find the link in the description. Hey, what's up out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Well, in the last few months, Intel has released a bunch of new CPUs, including their Clarkdale CPU. And with that CPU came a bunch of new motherboards, and these are the new 55 series motherboards. Today, we're going to take a look at one of Gigabyte's top-of-the-line motherboards. This is the new P55A-UD7 motherboard. This motherboard has lots of features and is a fully fleshed out motherboard for both the overclocker and the enthusiast. Follow along as we show you the specifications, how fast this board is, and whether it's worth your money to buy as the end user. Here we show you the internal SATA connections. What we have is we have two SATA 3 connections and eight SATA 2 connections. As we go along the side of the board, you can see that there's a single IDE channel for those who have old IDE drives. And this is also your 24 volt power connector that comes from your power supply. Following along, you can see that we have four slots of memory. So this memory runs dual channel memory and you can use up to four slots and up to 16 gigabytes on this motherboard. What you have right here is your first your COM port. This is also a system fan for plugging one of your fans in your system which can be controlled by the motherboard itself, followed along with a floppy disk drive connection. You also get two USB 2.0 external connections here. Starting out here, you get a standard PCI slot and another standard PCI slot. The bottom lane right here is a PCI 8 lane. Then you've got this lane and this lane, which are also PCI X16, and this lane, which is again PCI 8X. As you can see also, there's a cooler over here that's cooling all the chips on the south side of the board to keep the board running cool. Um, I'll pull this up a little bit closer. This is a very interesting part of the board. Gigabyte has gone ahead and installed an actual water box to cool the bridges of your chipset. So now your system bridge is completely cooled by water if you want it to be so. We're gonna start off, we're gonna show you the analog audio controls. This supports 7.1 digital Dolby audio. Then we're gonna move over, you can see that you have two LAN ports. Below the first LAN port is the USB 3.0, followed up by the standard USB ports. You have a USB slash eSATA combo. Followed by that, you get the digital audio, which supports both SPDIF and coaxial. Then over here, you get a little legacy drive. This is both for your keyboard and mouse, so you can plug either a legacy keyboard or mouse into this port. Followed up here at the end, at last, with two more USB ports. Okay, well the scores are in. And as we can see, this new Gigabyte P55A-UD7 scores in the top percentile of motherboards based off this type of chipset. Um, this motherboard itself is based off a high-end chipset, so it doesn't have integrated graphics like some of the other boards do, but this board has lots of features. USB 3.0, SATA 3.0, it's two ounces of copper to keep the board running clean, along with all its phase power conditioning stuffs, 
Overall, for all the features, speed, and things you can do with this board, I give it a solid editor's choice and thank Gigabyte for participating in this review program.